Good afternoon, guys. It's Kevin with KGTV. Just got out of work. Another project I'm gonna show you guys how to do. I'm gonna show you how to make your refrigerator last as long as possible. How do you make your refrigerator last as long as possible? Well, pretty much one thing, you clean it. Watch out, Frank. Come here. You gotta clean it out. It says, hey, YouTube. This is Frankie. So yeah, you basically got to clean it out. Uh, I'm not talking about the inside. I mean, we're going to do that too, which uh, you should do regularly. But if you're like me, you got pets, you got to vacuum out the back vents. You got your coil back there. You got your vents, you got your uh, drip tray. Um, it's all easily accessible in the back. You just need a few simple tools and you got to do it. I do it every once every about three, four months. Um, and I got 10 cats in the house, but uh, if you got dogs that shed or cats, animals, stuff like that, if you clean this out very often, this fridge will last you forever. I mean, this fridge is original from the house. We bought, the house was built in 2004 or five. We bought the house in 2018. This is still the original fridge. So this fridge is 30 years old, so. Let's keep it going, shall we? Plus, you know how expensive a refrigerator, have you guys gone to um, Home Depot to look at you know, prices on refrigerators lately? It's crazy. There's so much stuff on them that uh, so many options and so many computer chips and circuits, uh, you know, there's so many more things to go wrong. You know, who wants to be, you know, shelling out money to have people fix a refrigerator when um, you can just do simple maintenance and keep up on it yourself. So I'm gonna show you what kind of tools we need. You are just going to need a vacuum, some Windex. You need yourself an old rag or some paper towels, some dish soap, a sponge. Get yourself one of these wire brush cleaners that we're gonna clean the coils with. And this is a quarter inch socket. It might be different on your fridge, but back here you're gonna have on the, on the cover plate, uh, bolts right here. That hold it on some might be flathead or phillips head screwdrivers but in my case i got a quarter inch the more you drink the hotter your wife looks that's what i got my wife from las vegas <laughs> a 50 cent magnet oh yeah one more thing don't uh, forget to pay your taxes next step is we're going to take everything out all the food drinks you know whatever's in your freezer and we are also going to uh, take out the, uh, the bins, the shelves, and the, uh, and the vegetable cooler, uh, crispers. If, if you're doing this, it should only take 20, 25 minutes, but if you're short on time and you think you're gonna have, something's gonna pop up, then uh, grab a cooler, throw whatever perishables are in there, this way, you know, this way you don't get home an hour later and you know, everything's all thawed out on you. As you can see, look at that. I don't know how, I mean, you just get gross in there. But I don't know how the cat hair gets into there, but it gets into there somehow. Maybe it gets into the vents, but you can see these vents are dirty back here. If it'll focus, you got some schmutz on the walls there. Close that. Look at this, man. Bro, you know, cat hair everywhere. Just nasty. Look at the friggin' doors. Well, our condiments are, you know, it's all dirty. All this stuff's gotta get cleaned. So, after that, after you pull this away from whatever wall you got, you're gonna unplug your fridge. And then we're gonna pull it out just a little bit more and then get to the back. All right, so, hey, get out of here. Get. This is Arlo. <laughs> he's our youngest. He's a good boy, but he's a little shit. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're going to pop off the front. There's a little vent right here in the front. We're gonna pop that off. We're gonna vacuum around it. Then we're gonna go around to the back, unscrew the plate, and then we're gonna uh, vacuum up behind there. And we're gonna take this vent out from the bottom. Mine just pulls right out like so. Hit this with the wire brush, 
And we're gonna get all that out of there and we're gonna hit it with the vacuum. And then we're just going to basically hit whatever we can with the vacuum here. All this stuff here, as you can see. And while I'm down here, I'm also gonna vacuum out the inside. Any hair, any stuff like that, food particles, hair, all that stuff. You know, once it starts thawing out a little bit, it's easier. If you got hair in there, it's much easier to vacuum out than to uh, hit it with the sponge and kind of move it around, picking wet hair off a of fridge. So, if any of you guys know how to keep cat hair out of the refrigerator, uh, please drop them in the comments. I'd love to know. Get all of that crap out. This isn't as important, but it's almost as important as when we clean the back. I'll hit it with the sponge after that. Now you just gotta be careful with these because they usually just got plastic clips like mine. So when you're putting it back in, just don't force it. You don't wanna break these off. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Close enough. Okay. So now we're gonna move on to the back. I don't know what the heck this is. Some melted chocolate or something. When you pull out your fridge like this, first off, be careful because even though we don't have we don't have our ice machine hooked up, uh, we still got the water line attached to it. I just left it attached when, I, when we moved in in 2018 because uh, I didn't want to take this out and have to worry about it leaking when we weren't here or something like that. So I just left it attached. Don't don't mess with it. But um, when you're back here, just you know, people don't pull out their fridge and you know you're going to be surprised to see what's under it and if you got anything any sharp objects any broken glass something like that ends up under the fridge sometimes i don't know sometimes you might have dead roaches and maybe you have uh, rat feces or something mouse feces you know i don't know it's a you know you might not know this is going on but you know you pull out your fridge you know it's a good maybe it's a little heads up you know something for you to take care of so we're just going to unscrew these Again, I got a quarter inch socket on these. Put these aside. Here, they're all the same size. At least on mine it is. And looks like I'm missing one over here, but we got three. So we're gonna take that off and See how dirty that is on that side? They're gonna be cleaning that. See that? See that? Little cat teeth. Look at that. <laughs> now I haven't done mine in probably about three months and that's what mine looks like. So if you haven't done yours ever, or in a while, you can imagine what yours is going to look like. See now down here, it ain't too, too bad. Get some stuff around the fan here that we're going to clean up. But you're basically just going to want to vacuum all this out. Anything you can reach in here. Let's see, that's my drip pan down over here. That's actually not too bad, so... No, it's dry. So, I'm going to... I'm not going to uh, tilt it up. I'm just going to leave it because I should be able to get everything right here. But we are going to get in there first with our vacuum. I'm going to vacuum out what we can. And then I'm going to get in there with the brush and clean those coils. And then get out whatever else I can get. Look at that. Gross. All right, here we go. Just to show you guys, I'm starting to work on the coils now. There was big chunks of hair all caught up on this fan blade. I tried to get most of those, but I'm going to go over that again with the, the brush. But you can see the top, I can hit the sides. I can get with the vacuum. I can get back here along that wall. That was all covered in hair. So now I'm basically going to take our brush. We're gonna go in to the back. We're not gonna go crazy, but you can see. Look at that. 
I already went I already went back here once and decided to show you guys, but look at that. Boom. All this stuff's gonna come out. And it is nasty. You do not want it in there. You wanna get all this crap out of here. I'm gonna make a little pile here. Barry. Psst. I'm gonna make ourselves a little pile here. Look at that. I'm gonna get all this crap out of here because the more crap that you got on these coils and everything down here, the harder it's gotta work, the more energy it's gonna use, and the less or the fast, the less time it's gonna last. Or the faster it's gonna crap out on you and something's gonna break. So, it's like changing your oil. Just gotta, look at that, it's snowing. It's snowing dust. Let me get this real quick. Oh, it's nasty. Look at that. That's just the top, what I did. And you still got some in the back there too. But what we're gonna do is this big open pit that's in the bottom there. I'm gonna try to push all that out. And then I'm gonna tilt it. I'm gonna get whatever else fell on the floor. So we're gonna finish this up here. to scrub everything down the best of our abilities with our brush. And you don't gotta go crazy. I mean, if you want, you can try to take all this out. I never have, to be honest with you. I've never taken this motor out, the fan. I'll just brush it up real good and everything back here. Cause I don't wanna mess with nothing I don't know much about. All right, so would you look at that? See, pieces, parts like this, you just gotta get in there with the brush because you can't really get in. You don't wanna damage any of those, those pipes or the wiring. See, you got some, you got some clips back here. You know, you don't wanna go jamming the the vacuum all the way back there and messing up any of the uh, sensors or, you know, these delicate wiring and piping, you know, these copper pipes they got going on. But look at that. Look at that, beautiful. So I got some of that pushed back there, but I'm gonna get that later once I move this back. But look at that, it's like night and day. This is the main thing you wanna, you wanna clean up. This is what's gonna make it last longer. All right, so now that we're done with the back portion, we're gonna take our side. I wiped, wiped it off with some soap and water. We are going to reapply the cover and put those back like you took it out. One fucker. And three, and move it. Oh yeah. Look at that turd right there. Boom. See, everything else pretty much got pushed out in that gap there. So I'm gonna get that with the vacuum. Yeah, just an idea of what came out from under mine. Oh, some more up there. Look at that. Look at that. Huge. So now, basically, that's the hard part right there. But you are gonna need that, that brush because the vacuum is, I don't know if you got a vacuum that can fit in between those coils, but you don't wanna force it in there. If you break something, you're gonna have to buy parts and you're gonna be without a fridge. And all this crap that's sitting in your <laughs> in your sink and on your countertop is gonna thaw out and then you know you're gonna waste even more money. So we get that part done, we're gonna leave it unplugged, I'm gonna wipe it down with soap and water, then we're gonna do the uh, the racks one time and over and the uh, what do you call them? Produce bins, the uh, vegetable crispers. 
We're gonna do those. Then we're gonna put everything back in and slap the power on and then we're done. And I'll show you the after. What you doing, bud? So yeah, guys, if yours is like mine, you could take you could take these glasses out, clean these up with Windex, just be careful. And then see all in here, you get all these little food particles that come up. I just hit it with this, the sponge. But just, you wanna get all, I mean, you're doing it, you know, you're cleaning it out. You might as well do it right the first time. This way, it doesn't get too, too gross because sometimes I skip, I think last time I skipped over on it and it's just got nasty. So we're gonna get this cleaned up nice and we're gonna get it all put back together. All right, that's it. Freezer wasn't too bad. Again, if you just got a little Windex, you can pretty much wipe it off. You won't even need a real a sponge, really, unless you got some kind of caked on stuff, which some of you might do. But a rag and some Windex will do just fine. But look at that. Let me get the flashlight. Boom. Good to go. That's it. So we're gonna take our plug, plug her back in. You should hear it kick on like so. That's it. Also, it's probably a good time to go through your 100,000 condiments that you have and see what's expired and what isn't. That's it guys, got everything back in. Now, honestly, I probably won't worry about this for another four months, but I got 10 cats, so maybe three months, but you know, it's something you gotta do at least once a year. If you don't have any pets, once a year. If you got some pets, at least do it twice a year. That's all you need to do. You know, it takes maybe 20, 25 minutes to do. You know, it'll take you even shorter. I'm making a video right now, so my ice cubes are starting to thaw out a little bit, but you know, save money on your electric bill because it's not working as hard. Save money on appliances because you don't got to run out and buy parts or a new fridge when something breaks on it. And, you know, just maintain your shit. It's like changing your oil, you know. Take care of your shit.